Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to my channel. Happy Tuesday. It's gonna be a good one. We already got the day started nice and early. I just got my vlog up. We went and got our appointment done. We had to get a pap smear. Wasn't terrible. We made it through and everything's healthy, so we can't ask for more. But now I'm running off to get my hair done, so I just quickly wanted to show you a before. I'm not getting my extensions back in until the end of the month, but we're gonna get some fresh color. We're gonna lighten it up and go more towards my natural dirty blonde color with a little bit of blonde in there. So let's see how it goes. I'm excited. I really want to start to try to embrace my natural hair color because I'm sick of the roots. Brown is hard for me because my hair is so naturally light. So let's do a little birthday glow up. My birthday's coming up. I'm turning 25 in February and I'm ready for a change. And I wanna try out different hair colors before the wedding because I wanna know what I wanna do on the wedding. I don't know if I wanna be brunette, dirty blonde, blonde. We're gonna figure it out. Should I Ready? <laughs> Should I move out of the way? So cute. Oh my god, that is a big difference. It's a huge difference. It's a little like warm it, at the Yeah, top. it did lift a little yeah, warm. Yeah, and honestly, it's also too because it's like your natural has nowhere to go except for our Airbnb play. Yeah. It looks really good though. Wow. It's going to be a fun thing for two weeks and then we're going to change it all. <laughs> yeah. But it's still really cool. Yeah. Oh wow, it definitely lifted orange, huh? Yeah, it looks like pretty warm. Yeah. You can put it down more. I just think that'll be more stubborn next time. Yeah. No, no. Next time. You. Next time. No, we'll match the extensions oh, and then next time it'll be. Let me play with which one we want. So fun. I know, right? I'm like, you're going to go home to Zane and be like, <gasps> what's your fantasy? <laughs> Literally, just like, she my name's Candy. I honestly feel like maybe something like this because then I could tone everything to that like beige okay. color. You know what I mean? And then yeah. I'll smoke him down, but the ends are fine. Yeah. Oh, hello, my Benji Boo. I missed you today. Come here, my shwoggies. Oh. And my tubbies. I missed you, too. I love you. You're so good, baby. <laughs> Mommy's got red hair. Look at that. When you can't see the bottom half of it, it just looks like I have red hair. This is fun. It's fun, right? Benji agrees. We're lifting from dark, so I'm gonna need another session, but that's gonna be once I get my extensions in. So we color match today and she can like do it all together. But the bottom is like the color goal that we're going for and the top just lifted differently, which makes sense because we do more color on the top, you know, with like my roots and everything. But I actually don't mind it, it's kind of fun. It's like a fun little vibe for the next like two weeks, week and a half. Hold on, cause we said hi to Benji and Bailey, but I need to get Bella. found her oh my goodness belly say hello oh my baby okay that's enough of <laughs> these are my children right here like i literally miss them when i leave the house i'm like i wonder what they're doing right now are they sad are they okay <laughs> okay well i was actually planning on getting a little cute today for the hair salon but i ran out of time so i was in a sweatsuit all day and now i'm about to get changed into some leggings and workout gear because i'm going to zumba and i'm so excited it's actually not that cold out today and that's been making me literally not want to leave the house at all so the fact that it isn't ice cold freezing and windy i feel motivated to get dressed and go to the gym and i just want to work out and move my body and see my friends so it's gonna be good mom is calling me i'm gonna talk to her while i get dressed and i'll talk to you guys after zumba today so far how do you think our first fight will go living together I don't know. I don't know. Good morning. We just recorded the podcast. It's a beautiful sunny day. And now we are heating up our HelloFresh leftovers from last night in the air fryer. And we're going to do some shopping today with you guys. I'm so excited. Me and Zane have been waiting for this day. So <laughs> we're going to go upstairs and measure for the couch that we want to get. First thing of business. Wait, let me get, um, I don't know. It came in a PR package and it was supposed to have skincare in it. And so I think they messed up the box. Anyways, I'm going to get uh, pad and paper so we can write down stuff. Wait, baby, you know it's the 21st century. Baby, oh. shut up! I'm on my list. <laughs> and get your booty off my laptop. I got this pan in a PR package, so I'm gonna use it for today of all the stuff that we want to do. Right, let's, uh... This needs to be... It might be vibier to have a couch on this side. Yeah, what do you we think? Can, we can decide where we want to put it. We just measure the wall and make sure it fits on each wall. That side or this way? The couch this way? And then to be where? We're gonna watch the hallway? <laughs> it's upside down. All right, so did you want to get a straight couch or an L? I want a sectional of some sort. I want like some sort of, like I want it to be kind of big. We, you're not, not even at the corner. Pull to the corner. I am. It's 15 feet. The wall is 15 feet. This wall is, are you at the wall? Are you taut? Yes. Um, 17 feet, seven and a half inches. Wall to the window is five, six. 
Why do we need to know that? Oh, for symmetry purposes. What? You don't think that's smart to have? No. Okay. okay. All right, watch. Just watch. <laughs> for what? Just watch. If the couch goes here, here. Just praying on my downfall. Just, our, in all seriousness, what we do need to keep in mind is, well, no. See, I am right. We should measure this wall, though, because let's say they only have, like, let's say they have a couch you really like, but mm -hmm. they only have it on this side. I think that sectional, like the, the chase being on this side, is also good, mm. you know? But if it's on this side, it shouldn't come out past this wall. That would look very dumb. Mm, true. Okay, so we can measure that wall. That makes sense. Thank you. <laughs> How you doing? How you doing? I'm so hungry, it hurts. Five four. Five foot four inches, like me, just kidding. You're five four? I'm five one. Yeah, obviously. <laughs> It's a joke. Small wall, five foot, four inches. Now we're full the rest of this out. <laughs> oh, what about all the other furniture? What else do we need up here? What do we need up here? For the bedrooms. Wait, you want to get furniture at home? If they have anything, like. Do they even have furniture? Anyway? Yeah. No, you're not coming in. He's no. Coming in. <sighs> He's asserting his dominance. Okay, like a something for this. Like a low. Uh, like a console? Yes. So measure that. All right. So the TV is 40 not, 48 inches. Sounds like a blinker. 48 and three quarters of an inch? 48 inches plus three quarters of an inch? Yeah. It's not quite 49. <laughs> okay. It's not 48 and a half. It's 48 and three quarters. Okay. Doesn't I think. sounds like a blinker? Sure. Wait, hold on. I can't do it. Hold on. <laughs> now I'm cracking on pressure. Oh my God. I have actually a chair coming in the mail. I think that'll look great in that corner, but we'll see. Veggie out, come on. Come on Veg. We're going into the other room. Okay, what do we need in here? I'll I guess same thing, yeah, just a little something under there. And then I wanna put two standing mirrors in these rooms. This is 38 inches exactly. 38 inches, okay. So something a little bigger than the measurements we're writing down. Yeah. Okay. Alrighty, we're gonna brainstorm while we eat what we want to accomplished today. The hair is very interesting. Flautas, we made them last night. Okay. They're just getting caught Latin. What? Taking Instagram? An Instagrammer in the wild. <laughs> Agenda mm. is couch, home goods. Oh, these are so good. A workout and tennis you're doing today. Alyssa is gonna Zumba. We're gonna hydrate all the way. Oh yeah. Honestly, add another green drop. Add another drop. Wait, I want you guys to see this while we're doing it. How do I do that? I'm hire the best videographer in the No, game. I don't want you to have to hold it. There we go. I like can see it. We're filling in all the drops. And Zane wants me to add an extra one. Let's see if I can draw it. Close enough. Oh, it's good. Look, daily gratitude, but we already do our three gratefuls. So let's do one. What's the word of the day? In terms of what we're grateful for? Yeah, like a gratitude word of our day. Mm. Quality time. That's two words. Uh, <laughs> I'm going by your rules. That's our gratitude because we're having a... a Date day. We don't, maybe we don't have to write one word. I'm thinking. The gears are turning. Okay. It should be... Mmm! It'll be better the next day. All right, so then let's do quality time then. Slash date day. Okay. For meals, we're having... Wait, what is this? I don't know. I got it in a PR package. HelloFresh leftovers. And then later, we're going to use a gift card. If we have time. I feel like you're not realizing. Like, you no, want to edit? You said you want to do your makeup. I not have to lot. work out and, and make myself look decent. Mm -hmm. And then... We're gonna go out, look at couches. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I feel like sometimes the we'll day see. gets away from us, or sometimes sometimes it lasts forever. Yeah, we'll see. What else if we wanted anything for the downstairs mm -hmm. floor, like this floor? We need a centerpiece for this table. Yeah, centerpiece for this table and stuff for that wall. But I will say, I really want greenery on mm -hmm. this table, mm -hmm. and I think we should go to At Home for that. Mm -hmm. That's my favorite store. <laughs> I love that place. We want something over our bed with a black frame. Or would you rather put something on that wall where we keep our laundry with a black frame? I feel like something on the opposite wall where the laundry goes. So we'll just because say black frame has, like, art. Shiplet. Yeah, like black frame art for a bedroom. I want a giant mirror in the living room. I think that I'll have to order online though. I think a nice what lamp. What kind of mirror? What is it going to look like? Probably like the one I have in the closet room, like a metal frame, just like giant. Rectangle? Square? Horizontal? Vertical? What if it's flat and then like a dome on the top? Like this. Yeah, like a door. Kind of. But it would add like a little something. We'll have to, we have to look at Pinterest. My office is good. Closet room's gonna get done. Bedroom, black frame. Bathrooms I think are pretty fine. Art for the living room, possibly on that wall. But I need to see your inspo, because I don't think we should have like a big mirror and then also big art. Mm -mm. Yeah, that would look like too much. Maybe I don't like a dome mirror. But what about a regular mirror? Oh, you're talking about that big, holy shit. Yeah, like big boy. Oh. It'll make the room look really nice. 
or even like rest it on the floor would look nice with a plant next to it. I don't, I like it better hung. Can you show me just mirror living room inspo pics? Look, it's all dome. I think we need plants too, just greenery. At home, baby. That's the store, baby. Well, we have gift cards, so we'll look first. Let's go to Home Sense, because our gift cards can go to Home Sense. Let's go there, too. Okay, but I hear you, yeah, and I agree. Yeah, just an at-home hoe. I am the biggest at-home hoe. <laughs> no, they, we can go there. They are, I walk in there, and I'm just Happy. serotonin. <laughs> You're getting like me. Wait, but here because we go. I can't find like a solid selection of greenery, but when I went there, the options were unlimited. But don't you think we should check the places that we have gift cards for first 100%. and then go yeah. there? Okay. I'm also a save money hoe. <laughs> so, see, these inspo pics are not doing it for me because they're just the wall. I need to see the whole room. Alright, so look up something else. Wait, but other than that, do we need anything in the kitchen? You want something on that wall? I think something would look nice there. I don't I don't, I don't know. Yeah, something would look nicer. I don't know. I feel like a mirror will take away from the coziness. Maybe that's a faded take, but that's why I wanted to see pictures. What's our style? What is it called? I always forget. Modern vintage or some shit? I don't know. I don't think vintage. No, it's like modern something. You know what's a, a hot take? Probably not, but that's not the words that I meant. But if we don't get to use our gift cards, we can go out later. Wait, are you going to be home from tennis really late? Mm. Oh. Or practice match. Oh, you're talking up for dinner. We could like oh, go out right. after. Yeah. Come on. You're gonna be in bed. By I am gonna be in bed. I'm, I've Thank been you. loving my early routine. I'm so happy. I'm thriving. I wake up early. I get things done. Okay, so check this out. I know these aren't the best I, like examples. I just typed in living room. But right, so I feel like in my head, a mirror is gonna take away from the coziness of the living room. So I found this image, and I know this is not our style, but you see that mirror back there? I feel like if it was art, it would look better. And yeah, but I want a mirror for functionality, like I want to take pictures in there and stuff. In our living room? We have the mirror right here. Oh, like outfits. Like a nice big mirror, because I can't- You're gonna have a whole closet I'm not gonna room. have room for a big mirror in there. It's just gonna be a small one by the door. The small we'll one is the big one. It's still full body, correct? It's yeah. the one that was in the mudroom. Mm -hmm. No, the mudroom one we broke. Oh! We? You mean our psycho cat? Our cat broke it. Um. Wait, before you get all hung up on that, is that everything that we would want in the house? We yeah, honestly, we, we, really don't, we don't need much. I don't know if we should. We should just flat shit crowd it. Yeah, but you said before you were like, yeah. oh, sometimes I like to go and no, take shit. I know, but I want to go in with something in mind. Like if we see something, we'd be like, oh, that might work there. So dining room wall. I, I don't know. I'm not an interior designer. Is it too much to have something on this wall too? Someone emailed us on the podcast and complimented on how well I've been doing with interior designing. She's the best. I forgot to take my time. Okay, so. We won't tell anybody that I secretly do all the work behind the scenes. Oh, right. Daily smokes. So here's our rough list. Our daily gratitude is quality time slash date day. We're gonna hydrate with an extra thing. The agenda is to go get the couch and then go to Home Goods slash all the other stores. For movement, you're gonna work out and go to tennis and I'm gonna go to Zumba later. For our meals, we're having HelloFresh leftovers and then we're possibly gonna use our gift card. If not, we're gonna end up eating frozen pizza in the air fryer. <laughs> Sounds about right. We have all of our measurements for the stuff upstairs, and then our list of things that we wanna get is a couch for upstairs, some sort of centerpiece for this table, some sort of black framed art for our bedroom, uh, a big giant mirror for the living room. Tentative, I'll probably have to order that online possibly if we decide on it. Uh, Tentative? That's a big word. That's a big word. That's a big, what's that audio? I don't know, I'm going through TikTok. <gasps> that's a big word for Elmo. Oh, tentative. That sounded very fancy. Thank you. It's calling for a loop. I use it in work a lot because like tentative dates for brand deals and stuff. Yeah, sure. Anyways, you like that? Uh, greenery just in general for the house. Kitchen or oh, wall art possibly for by the island. Possibly art for this dining room wall behind us. Two TV stands for upstairs and two full body small mirrors for the upstairs bedrooms. And then downstairs is a later I like issue. the radio? Yeah. Like, I would like to get stuff going down there. We had it pretty nice. I think we need to do the bar. And oh, yeah. There's only like... That would have to order online, though, probably. There's only like two walls that we could really put art on. Yeah, we'll figure that out. Or your thing's coming tomorrow. What? The uh, audio interface. Nice. All right, we've got a plan for the day. Zane's going to work out. I have to edit something. And then I'm going to put on a little bit of makeup. I think I'm going to get a little bit dressed today. Yeah? Yeah, I think so. Do it. And then we're going to go hang out with you guys and... Go shopping. All right, everyone, we're off. That's all I have to say. Here we go. <laughs> Recommended by mom and dad. We're going to the Raymore and Flanagan outlet. See if we can find one. Hopefully if we like one, they let us like put something down and then we can come back and pick it up. Yeah. 
with my dad's truck or we might have to rent a u-haul we'll see no we were able to fit the one in oh the true basement. true 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 we could fit it truck. okay yay i'm excited and there's a home goods right over there for our gift cards uh what does that say 50 hours oh i thought it was gonna say it was closed down <laughs> thank you oh, it's oh i've never been here yeah, fancy it's i think it's massive oh i'm excited where are you going <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Did you bring the measuring tape? Uh, yeah, it's massive. Okay. It's my pocket. <gasps> oh my god. Oh, it is massive. Or oh, no. <laughs> All right, let's see what we can find. 11.69 for the whole thing. Two piece. Oh, just for these two pieces, yeah. Okay, but that's not what we want. Let's look. Oh my god, this place is huge. Okay, so far nada. Also, these are still kind of expensive. I want to go to the places where we found our couch at the apartment. We got that couch for like $1,000. Okay, well, that was a fail. We're going to go by the place that we got our couch for our apartment. It's kind of like, what was it? It was like a non-profit non organization, kind of, right? They get like all the leftovers from certain stores like Raymore and Flanagan and Ashley Furniture, and then they sell them for a lot cheaper. Yeah, it was something like that. I think all profits went towards like um, It was like people in recovering drug addicts yeah. or something. I don't know. Which was cool. It was cool, but... They sell like a lot of like name brand couches for a lot cheaper, but my mom recommended this place and it was not it. We couldn't find anything. There wasn't even anything I really liked and I was like, oh, it's just too expensive. I just didn't, didn't even see like anything. anything. Yeah. yeah. Sorry. Moving on. Well, we found it and they're renovating. It's empty in there. <laughs> That's our no. luck. I think we just go home and we order it online. Let's just go walk around Home Goods. We'll just order a couch online. We'll find a nice one. I don't know why we try shopping in person. I, I hate shopping in person now. I hate it. And well, it, online's so much easier. It'll show up at our house. We'll just order a damn couch online. Why did we try? Well, because number one, it's fun to go out with you and stuff. Yeah, no, it is. And then it is. also, couches and furniture, I think it's nice to go in person because then you could see it, like, yeah. sit on it, you know, check it out, make sure you like it in person. Yeah. But, I mean, shit. Is there any other discount store around? On yeah, this let road? me. See, the, see if you see another discount store. Hold on, I'll just look real quick. If not, let's go to Home Sense slash Home Goods and call it a day. <laughs> we tried. Look, a few people have pulled in and then they're pulling away. <laughs> Fail. Well, we were on our way to Home Goods and somehow <laughs> we ended up at Costco because it was on the way and we've been wanting to go here and get a membership. So I think we're gonna go to Costco. They have. They have I've heard furniture. They have furniture. We have our couch from Costco. We just stole the membership from my aunt and uncle to use their membership. But now we want our own. So we're like, you know what? We're out on the town <laughs> having fun, and we Why want a little. Not? We want a cheeky little snack too, and we're looking for furniture. And Costco keeps you the see this? low. You see this? Hmm. He didn't want a chapstick on his key ring. Now look. What do you mean? I I, I asked for this. You were, no, you were like, I don't know. We'll see if I keep it on there. I don't know if I want that. Now you're using it. I do like it. Anyways, Costco keeps the cost low, and they have furniture, and they have food, and... And it's a fun adventure. It's fun, and so we're, we're it's going. Fun. We can go to Home Goods any day. We like shit like this. We love it. We love it for us. It's just... The, the main wow. factor is the vibe, but the main factor that we've considered is that there's not one super duper close to our house. I said, if we sign up for Costco, I think we would go if we know we have a membership. Oh my God. <laughs> we're Costco members now. Well, not yet, but not yet. we're about to be. <laughs> but I don't understand. Like, there's no way there's going to be a security guard being like, uh, Yeah, checking your membership. Your yeah. Or unless you do it at the register, maybe. That's what I was thinking. Let's see. What if we just act like a member? If we just like act the part, maybe they'll just let us in. They have TVs too. Yeah, they check cards, babe. He, he's checking cards, see? No. See? Damn it, I missed it. <laughs> just so you know, we have um, coupons that go on monthly. $10. Now we came right to Costco. <laughs> okay, we had to, on the day of signing up, start our trip with some Costco food. I'm getting a hot dog, Zane's getting a slice of pizza. I would get the hot dog, but they do buy sesame. sesame seeds on the bun. I don't know if that's just a picture, if they actually do. That's a little, uh, that's a little. Next time we gotta try their ice cream shakes. They look good. days if that's the truth. That would stink. That would stink. <laughs> Guys, we feel like we're at like a, a cafeteria, like yeah. a private club. Yeah, like a, like a <laughs> members only, like we're special. But we paid for it. All right, let's see if it has sesame seeds. No sesame. No, no we can way. share both. You want to share? This is the biggest fucking. What the? Why is this hot dog so large? Dollar fifty. Dollar fifty. I know it was like less than four dollars for this. That looks good. You can try. I'm gonna put ketchup on it. 
It's good. <gasps> it's good. I want to try it. Taste it. It tastes like Chuck E. Cheese pizza. Oh, <gasps> not the Chuck E. Cheese. Oh my god, that's amazing. Isn't that good? Oh my god, it's so good. And we got light lemonade. Doing great, sweetie. All right, we're shopping around, you guys. We're trying to find like the good stuff for us because everything is in bulk and we're only two people. But we're trying to stuff, find the stuff that we would eat a lot and that like, you know, price-wise works. So like, we, so far we got our bread, asparagus. The more we come, the more we'll get used to like the certain things that we like and the deals and stuff. 5 59 for all these grapes. 5.59 for the grapes, yeah. That's good. All right, we're just leaving now, and they couldn't print my card before. They printed Zane's, so now we're just waiting to get that. So I figured once we go home, I'm just gonna go right to Zumba. So I figured I would just show you what we got right now. So we got 30 bags of these popcorners. <laughs> Zane got his big Ghirardelli thing. Got a nice big thing of chicken breast. It's gonna last us forever. We're probably gonna freeze some of it. These I'm excited to try. Caramelized onion and aged white cheddar chicken burgers. These look really good. Very good price as well. We got this green goddess chopped salad kit. Avocados. Grapes were a really good price. We got some olive. Asparagus was a really good price as well. And then we got these egg white frittatas. We got bao buns. These peppers were good price as well. Some tilapia. Our bread that we eat. It comes in a two pack. Grapes. That's everything that we got. And it was $161 and Zane said, I bet it's gonna be under 160. And I said, I bet it's gonna be over. And I said over and it was a dollar over. How did you get that number? That's crazy. That's insane. It was $1 over 160. So I won, what do I win? Oh, we didn't discuss the We didn't discuss the win, the wins. Yeah, but like with like sports betting, if you took the over, like the over would have been like plus 160. All right, you guys, it's been a bit. I went to Zumba, I came home, took a nice body shower. And we are going to meal prep. I feel very inspired after going to Costco. I was a little nervous at first about buying in bulk, but then I'm like, I wanna start meal prepping, so this actually might be really good. And I'm inspired to do it tonight, and tomorrow I have like a busy day, so I'm like, that would be really nice to have it for tomorrow. And I need to eat tonight too, so I'm gonna have some of it tonight, like test it out. So I decided I'm gonna do two different types of meals. We have 10 meal prep containers, so I'm gonna do half of them. And by the way, I'm not following any recipe or anything. I'm just gonna kind of wing this first round and just do me. And then maybe like next time I meal prep, we'll do more like recipe based, but Today I'm just gonna be doing my own thing. I'm gonna be using the chicken that we got today at Costco, which I put on Instagram and I asked you guys for all your like Costco tips and tricks. And I saw a few people say that the Costco chicken is really good. So I'm excited that we got the chicken breast. So I'm gonna use that for both of the bowls. One of them I'm gonna do some rice, black beans, corn, some roasted peppers, some lime juice on the rice, and kind of season the chicken with like cumin, salt, pepper, garlic, onion, stuff like that. The other one I'm going to do chicken with some alvaca sauce. I'm also gonna do the rice, just so I don't have to make like pasta or like another carb. Or I could do potatoes. Actually, I think I'm gonna do that. I'll do chicken with vodka sauce, potatoes, and then the asparagus that we got today. So we're gonna do kind of like a Mexican inspired one and then like an Italian inspired one. So we don't get like sick of the same meals, you know? That might be a lot for my first time meal prepping. Maybe I should do it all the same, but I feel a little confident about it. So let's go. All right, first thing we're gonna do is trim our asparagus. Got them in my little strainer that goes over the sink. Oh, I forgot that it expands. Okay, that's better. All right, I got them all in my strainer. I'm going to put in my potatoes in here as well. And we're gonna wash everything. I'm also gonna put my other little sink thing right here. Okay, and then I'm not gonna use all the peppers, so I'm just gonna put some of them in here and wash those. So I think I'm gonna air fry the veggies and then put the potatoes in the oven. I could air fry all of it, but I'd rather it just all be going at the same time instead of waiting. So let's do 450. I'm actually quite hungry, so I wanna have a little something while I'm cooking. So I'm gonna try these steamed pork buns. All I have to do is microwave it, so that's easy. Comes with a bunch of them, and I'll give you guys my Costco review. I'm a Costcoer now. Also, a lot of you guys on Instagram were like, I was wondering when you were gonna like turn to Costco, or like, welcome to the Costco addiction. And I was like, oh God. So it begins. <laughs> I'm very excited. So I have to wrap it in a damp paper towel and microwave it for only 45 seconds, easy. 
Oh my god, gotta show you this too. My mom got us a few gifts for our housewarming, which they got us the Blackstone. I don't know why they got us more stuff, but she's like, I had to bring you something. So she got us a new cover for our microwave because ours melted on Christmas. I don't know if I showed you guys. And this one is so nice. I'm pretty sure she got it from Amazon, so I think I can link it. But it's got a handle and it's very, very nice. So anyways. 45 seconds. She also got us a chlorine holder for our pool. And then she also made us custom little, um, what are these called? <laughs> Coasters. It's not so cute. Okay. It feels nice and hot. I'm so excited. I love these. And there's not really many places by us that sell them. You kind of have to go into the city and go to Chinatown. So let's see if this compares at all. It's very hot, actually. I don't want to burn my mouth. I don't know why Benji's standing under me like I'm giving him a snack. What? This is not for you. It's really hot. Okay, I'm gonna give it a few seconds and I'm gonna cut my potatoes in the meantime. By the way, I'm watching Married at First Sight season 13. While I do this, that is my entertainment if you guys were curious. Okay, we got them in the oven with some olive oil, Italian seasoning, salt, pepper, garlic, onion. Let's try this. Mmm, pretty good. Really good flavor, but I feel like I could use like more like sauciness. Like I would love to like dip it in more of the sauce that was in here. It's a little bit dry, but overall really good. It's filled with like pork and some like sauce. It's satisfying. I'll take it. I'm gonna start to prep the rice because I feel like that's gonna take a while as well. So we're gonna get four cups of water into here. And we're gonna bring that to a boil. Next, I'm gonna start the asparagus. I'm doing batches at a time because I don't wanna overcrowd the air fryer, but this won't take long. So we're just gonna do some olive oil, salt, pepper, garlic, onion. I'm gonna put those on 400 for about 15 minutes. All right, next we're gonna get this chicken situated. Let's see what we can do here. They're wrapped in like individual packages. So I think I'm gonna use half of it and then freeze the other half possibly. Oh, I opened one. Okay, I guess we're using that side. Okay. Perfect, and this side can just go in the freezer. That's good, love that. So I'm just gonna cook these as full breasts on a pan and then I'm gonna slice them after they're done cooking to ration them out. So I'm gonna pound them to an even thickness in a Ziploc. All right, the plates aren't super even, but whatever. I have a feeling I'm gonna have extra chicken anyway. This is gonna be for my vodka sauce, and this is gonna be for the rice and the peppers and everything. So they're both gonna get salt and pepper. Also garlic and onion powder on all of it as well. Italian seasoning on this one. This one we've got some cumin, some chili powder, paprika, and some tahini and also some fresh lime juice. Right, I'm gonna flip them over and do it on the other side. And I'm gonna get my skillet heating up as well so we can get this going. Also, I just put the rice in, so I'm gonna cover that. I'm gonna go over here and grab my little lid. So cute. And that's gonna simmer. Potatoes are doing lovely, whoa. And I'm about to make my life so easy. I'm gonna use this big griddle pan from our place. You can put it on two burners and I can make all the chicken at once. I'm gonna put it on like a medium high. I never used this for chicken before, so hopefully it comes out all right. <laughs> all right, for the chicken, I'm gonna use some canola oil. First round of asparagus came out so delicious. I just had one. They are so good. Mm -mm -mm. So I'm gonna put it in the next batch. Sorry, this is kind of chaotic. Like I said, this is my first time meal prepping, but I feel like I'm doing pretty good. Potatoes could use a few more minutes and I'm gonna give them a toss. You know, whenever I don't spray my parchment paper, stuff sticks to it. And people have made fun of me for spraying my parchment paper, but I'm like, this is why. I mean, it's not awful. Some of them are coming off. And I did toss them in olive oil, but still, some of them stick. I mean, not to chew my own horn though, those look amazing. They only need a few more minutes and they'll be good to go. I think we're heated for the chicken. Let's do this.
All right, I'm gonna get a good sear on each side of these, and then I'm gonna lower the heat until they reach 165. Probably about six minutes per side. They're pretty big, so that's the plan. We're doing good. All right, it's been six minutes. Let's see how it came out. Come on. Okay, a little extra crispy, but that's fine. Oh, that's extra crispy. <laughs> No, it looks good though, that'll be good. Brown food is good food. Damn, I didn't realize this thing was gonna cook so good. <laughs> I should've turned it over a little earlier. Whoops. Something I love about the Google Home is that when you tell it what the timer is for, it puts little like things on the screen and it makes certain noises. Like it, it goes like wah wah when the chicken is done. Yeah, I think it's so cute. All right, in the rice, I'm gonna do some lime zest. Stop. And then we're also gonna do some lime juice. I'm gonna use half of a lime. I think I made way too much rice. <laughs> Whoopsies. I'm also gonna add some tahini and pepper to the rice. And I still feel like it's a little bit dry, so I'm gonna add a little bit of butter to it as well. Chicken is looking phenomenal. We made it out alive. The last piece is finishing up right now. I'm just making sure that it cooks all the way through. We want 165 on the thickest part of the chicken. We're almost there. But I'm just letting these rest before I cut into them because if you cut into them too soon, then all the juices will come out. You wanna let it rest for a little bit, but I think it's gonna be good. This one looks extra burnt on camera, but I promise it's fine. It was just all the seasoning. All right, everyone. Check it out. We are all set up, ready to go into containers. And the kitchen is pretty much almost clean too. So I feel like that wasn't too bad. It took a while, but I feel like overall I had fun doing it and it wasn't super overwhelming. Next time I definitely want to like look up more recipes and like follow stuff. But just for the first time, I just wanted to get some stuff going. So I'm going to cut up the chicken. We're going to take out all of our containers and it's going to be so satisfying. And we're going to fill them up. I just cut up the Italian seasoning chicken and it is really good. I just had some. I decided to not put any sauce on it and then just decide that whenever we're heating it up if we want to put some sauce on it. So we're going to take out our containers. So I'm going to do five of them for this one. So let's fill them up. I don't know how I'm going to portion this yet. So I guess we're about to find out. We'll do some chicken. I've been so excited for this. I'm so happy. You know, I thought that I maybe made like way too much, but I think this might actually be the perfect amount. Okay, I feel like that looks somewhat evened out. Then we've got potatoes. Actually, I'm gonna put it to one side so that the asparagus can sit on the other because it's kind of long. These potatoes came out amazing, by the way. I can't stop snacking on them. <laughs> I think I ate a lot of them before they even made it to these meal prep containers. Okay, now lastly, we've got our asparagus. I also ate a lot of these as well. <laughs> All right, there you have it. There is meal prep number one. Looks pretty good. And then when we heat it up, if we want to put any sauces on top, we can. Yum. I think I'm also making a realization and it makes so much sense. So all of a sudden there's been like a little bit of like black, like, I don't know. It's like a little bit of like black soot on some of our stuff. And we were like, what is this? And even though I do trim this candle and I've tried to clean like the soot on the inside of it, like the black soot, I think it's getting in the air and getting on our stuff in the house because I've noticed it more and I'm like, oh, that makes sense. Cause I see when a candle is like, you know, close to something and you can see the black soot, it's probably going all in the air and going all over all of our stuff. It just makes so much sense. And I thought I was like doing good by like trimming the candle and like trying to clean the inside of it, but I guess not. <laughs> wow, this is so satisfying. Okay, next we're gonna do the other one. Oh, I have to cut up the chicken, hold on. Alrighty, we're gonna start with the rice. I'm doing about a half a cup in each. Okay, now we're gonna put some of our chicken, which is also good, I tried this one as well. All right, now we're gonna put some of our peppers. Then we've got some corn, which I seasoned and put some lime juice on. All right, and lastly, we got some black beans. I just quickly heated these up in the microwave because I don't really like when they're super raw. So at least they were heated up a little bit. And then when we heat these meals up, they'll heat up again. Wow, this one is a lot more than <laughs> the other one. I wasn't expecting to use everything. I thought I was gonna have so much leftover. I mean, I have a lot of leftover rice, but that's it. Everything else was used. Pretty good. And then when we heat these up, I will put some sour cream, some avocado, maybe some salsa, stuff that shouldn't be heated up, you know? 
And the peppers I just like to eat and I just eat them and then throw out the stem. I don't ever really cut them open because I like them like that. I feel like it holds in all the juices. They're just really yummy when you leave them whole. So that's how I leave the peppers. All right, those look pretty. Wow. I just realized my autofocus was off and I don't know how long that was off for. So sorry if that was a little blurry, but here's the second meal. I think it came out good as well. Let's cover them up. Okay, it is 11.55, that is late for me, it's my bedtime. This took a while, I think I started at maybe like 9.30 ish but also filming adds a lot of time to it and i did two separate things but and it was my first time so i'm sure i will get quicker as i go along but this is amazing i will link these containers down below they're from amazon also i'm sharing with zane because i probably would not be able to go through all of these in the time that they would stay good in the fridge so we will be sharing these i better get some brownie points that's all i'm saying <laughs> I went ahead and already made a spot in the fridge, so now we've got a nice big empty shelf. We actually do have two HelloFresh dinners left, but these are like lunches, you know, and then we'll have those for dinners. All right, we're all stocked up. I think it's so funny that I just did this on a random Wednesday too. Usually people like do it on a Sunday for the week, but I was like, eh, I just wanna get my foot in the door and just, I've been wanting to do it and I'm like, I need to just do it so that I get used to the idea of meal prepping. So I'm glad that I just went ahead and got it started. And we've got all empty dishes. I'm gonna throw them in the dishwasher. We just have some extra rice over here. Dishwasher is going. Zane is gonna clean the last of these dishes that can't go in the dishwasher. I, you guys are gonna laugh because I just meal prepped all of that, but I'm heating up one of those burgers that we got from Costco, the chicken burger, and I'm having it with some rice in a bowl. I'm gonna put probably sour cream. It's these. Caramelized onion and aged white cheddar. Chicken burgers, and they're organic, and they're fully cooked, so I just heated it up in the air fryer for a little bit. This seems like a sad meal, but I feel like it's gonna be good. I just cleaned off my butcher block too. So, kitchen is pretty nice and tidy. I just feel like it's only right, like I had to give you a few Costco reviews of the things that I got, right? Reminds me of like Trader Joe's. What's good, what's not, you know? I already followed some Instagram accounts about Costco and the Costco finds and stuff, so I think that's funny. All right, let's try this burger. Obviously, it's not like on a bun dressed up with a lot of toppings, but let's see. Mmm. Mmm. Really good. I like it. It tastes very fresh. It tastes healthy, but still flavorful. Mmm. I really like that. Would buy again, and it was a really good price for a lot of burgers. And I love that they're already cooked. You just have to heat them up. And I love that they're organic. I didn't even realize that until I went to make one just now. And I was like, that's good. Okay, but I'm like a sauce connoisseur, and I feel like it doesn't even need sauce. That's how you know something's good when Alyssa doesn't need to use the sauce. I just feel like I did so much work for those meal prep things, and I want to like use them on days where I'm busy and stuff, and I just didn't want to have one tonight. I just felt like tomorrow's gonna be a good day for one. Zane's gonna have one tomorrow too. I just felt like tonight wasn't the night. <laughs> and I got to try this for you, so that works. It is my favorite time, it is bedtime, and I am oh so happy. I've got my baby here with me. I am going to go ahead and get ready for bed. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you all next time. Bye guys. I just cut up the Italian seasoning chicken. It's delicious, I had some. What is happening with this hair? <laughs> and now I'm gonna, what? Well, we, our, our couch is from Costco. We just yeah. jacked off my. <laughs> I was gonna say. Oh, we know, we know, we know. We know. He jacked off my aunt and uncle. <laughs> What's the word I'm looking for? Can use their membership.